being a mentor is, uh, you know, one of the most difficult things that you can really do if you're being effective. This is an exciting time to be from Atlantic City, to be involved in Atlantic City. I think Atlantic City is, uh, has, like so many American cities, um, gets attention, you know, for the fires that are burning and, and not for the flowers that are blooming. Uh, my name is Jamal Williams. I'm a junior here at Stockton University. So every Saturday, um, I go to Atlantic City Stockton University campus. And there, um, I mentor 7th through 12th graders, along with other mentors on campus. Um, and we help them with college readiness, uh, life skills, uh, communication skills um, is a big one. Um, and pretty much just get them ready for like overall life. Uh, I came to teach at Atlantic City High School um, in 1975, where I worked there for 33 years. I was then contacted and asked if I was interested in um, becoming involved directing a program called Champions of Youth, which was under the uh, direction of the Boys and Girls Club of Atlantic City. In Atlantic City, I've been a first grade, a fourth grade teacher for many years. Uh, I was a school literacy coach. I became the district literacy coach. I became the district trainer. And then I thought, hey, why don't I try to be a vice principal? So I applied for a vice principalship, uh, which I uh, earned. And that was at Texas Avenue. And not long after that, I was appointed to be principal here at Dr. Martin Luther King School. I'm Pam Cross, and I've been running the Writing Center here at Stockton uh, for 32 years, which is amazing and, and terrific, and I'm really very, very blessed. I get to teach in the first year studies program and the writing program. Um, I have a, a really interesting job because I sort of get to work to, with students at, uh, at extremes. I believe some of these kids uh, would have a hard time succeeding uh, if they didn't have an individual like myself or like um, a support system. Due to the fact that I come from Lang City, I know how hard it can be to grow up in the inner city without a father figure um, or family support. Uh, so I feel like I can I can relate to the kids a whole lot more than the average individual. Um, and with knowing that, I can actually share my story and get a chance to know them a little bit better and see what works for them and what what probably does not work for them. So when they finally believe in you and there's a trust and a relationship because. It's about the relationship. I've always been a big believer because it's been my experience that they will succeed. Everything we know about retention of students begins and ends with connection. Do you feel connection to people at the institution? Do you feel connected to the institution? Do you feel supported uh, and known? And so, um, you know, that's a really important part of the work that we do both, you know, with EOF and the Tutoring Center, our, our, our joint missions um, are to, 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 to make sure that students know that we know their names and, and we're looking for them. I think people need to know their value. Sorry. If people don't know their value, they can't find their place. And everyone has value, no matter how insignificant they might feel, they have value. No matter how insignificant others might treat them, people all have value. 